front row, Andrew Shelley and Luke Oldfield. That's what you want when you're chasing a club championship. One and two in the points, side by side, off the front row. Peter Lack there in row two. Looks like Brian Mann going to slide up beside Lackey. Terry Bracken. They're in row three with Brody Tullick, Paul Rooks, Davey Well. Luca Cox, Anthony Lambert, Melissa Boyce, Kevin Tippett finds himself very deep in the field along with Brent Kratzman with Andrew Lipke. Then we go back to Mike Walsh and the two console cars there of Mitchell G and Brandon Rawlings at the tail of the field. 25 laps on the board. Sprint cars about to get underway. We are green. Shelly gets the jump. Black is the board. Down two turns. One and two they go. Yellow lights are on. Yellow lights are on already. And I don't know if there's a car over there. I can't see anyone racing the one. So I'm guessing it's just that the officials weren't happy with that start. As they Very go. deep in the field, as I said, along with Kevin Tipp, and they'll be looking to get forward. They need points in this club championship. They're not going to get too many back where they are. Second time of asking. Shirley once again gets the jump on Oldfield. As they hit the... Oh, big crash! Big crash there for... Uh, one of the console cars. I'm not sure who it is. But that was huge, obviously a touch of wheels there. I didn't see how it started. But that was a massive crash. He's out of the car, folks. Give him a big round of applause. In fact, he's out before the officials get there. car on the tilt tray in bits or actually I don't think we've done that have we oh yes we have the car that he uh, came in contact with was Andrew Lip three Rooks well in four Cox and Lambert in five then it's boys Tippin in six row seven consisting of G and Kratzman row eight with Mike Walsh on his lonesome Attempt number three for the feature race tonight for the sprint cars about to get on the way. Once again, Shirley gets the dust. Black this time gets great guys. Gets underneath Oldfield. Well, he gets Shirley. Very close to touching Will there, but manages to continue. Tippin gets underneath Cox to move forward. what the wind conditions can do in the turn three, I think. He was on the outside. I think it was Anthony Lambert. He was trying to go around. He got into three, he turned the car in, and it just looked like it got pushed to the fence from the wind. And he rode the wall all the way around to where his car is now until it fell over on its side. Mitchell's out of the car. Give him a round of applause. He's A-OK, -okay, but I tell you what, the console boys are going to have a bit of work to do before they race another day. Oh, Trevor, how many times have we seen Tolik, Bracken, Rookswell, Tippin, Kratzman. Then we go back to Cox, Lambert, Boys and Walsh at the tail of the field. Back to green we go.
course it is that brings on the yellows over there in turn four. Backed it into the wall. Shirley doing it with ease at the moment. Gapping the field comfortably from Peter Lack. Brian Mann in third, Oldfield's down in fourth, he won't want to be there. But there's not much he can do about it, the front three driving away. As they come out of turn four, Lack looking to get the jump. But Shirley gets it down nice. And pull the couple of car lengths before they get to the cone. Lack, Mann, about the same distance. Here comes Carlick having a look underneath Oldfield. Oldfield's shut the door, Timmy gets underneath Bracken. Moves up another spot. Shirley running away with it. Oh, very high, Shirley. Almost into the wall. Oh, Oldfield gets underneath Brian Man. I'm not sure that Man did make a mistake there. Some of the yellow lights are on again. Melissa Boys and Anthony Lambert having a... Uh, Having a discussion in the middle of the racetrack there, Luca Cox as well. So, not sure if Luca was involved in that, but Lamb, it looks like there's front end damage on the pink yellow car. And I'm not sure if there's damage on the uh, Melissa Boys car as well. Yellow lights are out, restart this time by. Shirley once again to set the pace. Lack trying to judge when he's going to get on the gas. Shirley, much better start by Peter Lack that time round. Oldfield still retains third. Man's in fourth. Here comes Tippett in fifth. He's got past Cullick. Crack and then we go back to Well. Yeah, Crackford finally gets past this. As they go down the front straightaway, Crackford moves up a spot. He'll now try to find a way around. Peter Lack needed, and then they caught Mike Walsh 